good morning it is monday it's the 15th of may so i've got a little exciting parcel it's not that exciting i've got a parcel from um jackson's art supplies with some new pencils because they had a polychromo sale um or a feather castell sale so i decided to pick up some cheap ish uh, polychromos pencils so i've got that to open which i'll show you guys in a minute um this week is all about uh getting some drawing done so this thursday and friday i have my live draw along sessions with my patrons which i'm really excited about because we're drawing an iris so i'm looking forward to that i do need to get started on my butterfly drawing so i didn't get to do it last week <laughs> I had intentions to do it last week but I, I didn't get around to doing it I was just doing a bunch of other stuff doing some admin and getting like everything all sorted out but I do plan to get the butterfly and the flower done I'm gonna start it tomorrow I would start it today but it's already 11 24 um, it's a bit late in the day to start recording because um, I had some other things that I've needed to do this morning and I've got them done and it's taken like a lot of brain power um so I've got a nice cup of tea I've just been doing some patreon housekeeping so adding um new subscribers over the weekend to the website for the in-depth tier so I've been doing that this morning um and I've done some Etsy orders and things I haven't recorded them because they were just like just some really simple stuffing into envelopes it's not anything that's like groundbreaking so i didn't record it um let's open up this little jackson's package nothing like revelationary or revolutionary in here it's just a restock of all of the pencils that I know that I'm running low on could have probably got a few more um, but I didn't want to spend like a lot I already spent about 50 pound um, so I just got a bunch of I know I'm going to be using a lot of the reds so we've got some alizarin crimsons and some crimson lots of pinks uh restocked a couple of like these more nudie pinks um some greys blues and that kind of thing you can see the kind of nice array of colors i've got here uh so nothing too like special there's nothing new that i can show you it's just restocking all of the stuff uh got some walnut browns um and some burnt siennas and things because didn't realise I was running so low on all of those so I'm going to put these into their secondary accommodation because these are like the spare pencils I've still got little bits of these colours um, so I'm going to use the little bits and then the new ones will come out so these are going to go into the pencil drawers that I keep over there over here is the pencil drawers that don't get shown very often they used to be all nicely arranged in like colour order <laughs> But now, like this is just the grey tray, they're just kind of all over the place. This is the worst kind of organisation. Um, so I'm just going to pop, as this one handful, I'm just going to pop them in there. Let's get the other ones. You can see my seeds growing as well, I've got so many tomato seeds. Um, but at least we've got a nice lot of pencil stock now. As 
for the rest of the day i'm not exactly sure what i plan to do if i'm honest um there's not much that i can actually get on with and do i've done all the admin um there's no kind of like prep work that i need to do for any of the tutorials because i've done it um i'm ahead but i'm also behind because i should be drawing um but as i say it's it's half 11 there's no not much point in me drawing because soon it'll be lunchtime simon's home for lunch um and then it's time to pick up james from school and then it's the end of the day <laughs> So yeah, um, I'll show you guys some drawing when I get around to doing it. I'm also unsure whether to share um, this thing. Um, I've spoken a little bit about uh, like going to therapy last year and working through some things um, because on the internet and everything I come across quite fine um but if you meet me in reality i'm i'm like the shyest person and i find social situations incredibly difficult and just doing like the normal stuff like just going places i just it's incredibly it's very difficult for me to kind of voice exactly but i just find it so difficult um and i went to therapy last year for a lot of this stuff uh, to try and help and the therapist at the time gave me some stuff to help and I took it on board and I've been trying to like do it um, but it's not getting any better <laughs> so um, I went to the doctors um, like social anxiety isn't getting any better um, and now I'm being sent for an autism assessment <laughs> so <laughs> that's currently what's going on and that's like what's been occupying occupying a lot of my brain space lately because if I'm honest it's a little bit scary because just in life there's like this stigma on anything kind of mental health related anyway um yeah and it's just it's quite scary like I'm excited but I'm scared because I'm excited that this may be the answer as to why I am like I am and I really do crave answers about myself and like why why I am um but it's just scary because I don't know I don't know what's going to happen or what I have to do and that's scary uh so yes I am being sent for an autism assessment I've had my referral thing and filled in the questionnaire and taken it back to the doctors um so now i'm just waiting uh to see what the next step is and i was too scared to ask the doctors what's going to happen next they asked me oh is there anything else and i just said no because i don't want to inconvenience anyone uh so i didn't ask the doctors so now i'm just like in this space where i don't know what's going on and i don't know what's going to happen next um but i was very unsure whether or not to share anything um but i don't know it might be helpful in case anybody else is going through a similar experience or like i don't know you can notice some of yourself in me and you've always wondered like yourself about you know what's going on in there so yeah it's a scary it's a scary thing um i'm scared about it but i'm looking forward to potentially finding out some answers and just getting like some coping just just ways to cope and and to know that you know I'm not broken <laughs> so if I have any updates um or anything I will share them with you as and when but I just thought that I would share that with you because I don't know it might be nice to document the process and whatever the thing is is that a lot of people I only ever show like the best version of myself online as a lot of people do um so I don't necessarily share like any of the struggles because I just don't know how to vo voice them either I don't know how to like put them accurately into words exactly how I'm feeling um 
on how things make me feel it's just very difficult to to detail that if that makes sense so a lot of people just think oh she's just shy <laughs> but to me it's just it's more than just shyness um and having difficulties with people and like just just other things as well it's not just the the shyness it's a bunch of other stuff that I don't really tell people because I don't want to burden them I don't want to be that person that's like excuse me I need help I think I'm a little bit strange <laughs> that's that's just never I just can't ask for help it's just, it's just no can't um, so that's also what's like really strange is that I'm asking for help and we're going down that path of help and it's just like oh scary because we don't ask for help <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway, that's all I have to say on that subject. Good morning. It's Monday, the 22nd of May. Um, I was working on my latest piece, which is, sorry, I've got hair like right in my eye. <laughs> there you go. I've been working on my latest piece, um, Thursday and Friday of last week with my patrons we did a live draw along session i've been working on my iris so here it is so far this is everything that we got done in the live session which i'm pretty happy with because that's a large chunk of the flower and some of the more difficult aspects as well um so i've been working on that which i'm really pleased about i'm going to plan to finish it this week um i'm actually going to start uh the next part um which i'm going to record in a minute i'm just going to get everything set up um so that i can do that so i can record like another hour i'm currently uploading both of the edited live event parts and they're uploading i should have uploaded them over the weekend and like left my computer on but i didn't <laughs> so I'm doing it this morning um, it says that they're going to take a heck of a long time um, 2 hours and 33 minutes to upload 2 videos one of them is just over an hour the other one is an hour and a half so that's pretty good going I suppose um, so yeah I'm going to record about another hour on this get it edited also upload that um, then I can schedule the parts for the next few days so I'll have one part going out tomorrow one on Wednesday one on Thursday and then tomorrow or maybe today I can then record the next part which will be the final part and then it will be done um, so then we can have videos all this week and then I can get started on I think I'm gonna do I was gonna do the butterfly but I really want to do the bee because the B reference is my own reference and it's got a lovely pink flower whereas the butterfly is using blues and purples and I've just used blues and purples so I'm thinking of doing the B first <coughs> oh um, it's also I realized becoming like the end of the month and May has moved really really quickly <laughs> and I've only got like this done so far, this drawn. So I don't know where the time is going yet again. It's running away from me. I just don't seem to be able to get anything done. Despite actually getting stuff done, I just constantly feel like I'm falling behind all the time. But I was, um, I did go through, there's a fly on my desk. I did go through and rearrange all of my reference photos. Um, I got all of that done. So I checked like, all of my reference photos and I've like organized them into really nice folders and everything's like really accessible now and whilst I was doing that I was also looking at the some of the tutorials and like a lot of the older tutorials that aren't recorded sort of from 2020 2019 um I'm not too pleased with the quality compared to like the quality now so there's a few that I really want to redo so I've made a list made some notes um 
of all of the ones that I kind of want to replace and then I've removed the ones that are kind of inferior quality so that it kind of ushers me along to replace them um, so I've got a little list of things that I want to replace um, but on looking at all of the tutorials um, and looking at like the content that's on offer I realised um, that last year and the year before I didn't actually release all that much content and I was worried about like the content that I'm putting out this year so far and already this year so far I've put out more content than I did the previous year so <laughs> we're already like we're already fine um so yeah I'm just kind of working out what kind of things I want to do for June as well as kind of contemplating like what I'm going to fit in for the rest of May because we need to get this done and then two others and I've also got a commission that I need to do as well but what I'm thinking is I potentially just do like the one tutorial in June which is like a live draw along and then uh, then just do my commission and get that out of the way and then focus hard on getting a load of stuff done for July because I'm going to take some time off at the end of July because it will be the summer holidays and it's going to be incredibly difficult for me to work in those six weeks whilst having my child at home um, I'll obviously do like admin stuff but in terms of getting some solid drawing done and that kind of stuff it's going to be incredibly difficult so I do need to get like a head start and just get all of the pressing things done and out of the way <laughs> so one of the main things is getting this commission finished so I need to do that in the next couple of weeks so I'm going to try and get as much of this iris done as possible today so that I can do the B uh, for the remainder of the week because that shouldn't be too long a tutorial um, and then we can f Is it Thursday? I think it's Thursday. Um, excuse this because I am going on my curly hair journey because it's not curly, my hair is wavy. Let's just get that straight. Um, so <laughs> I've realised, I've been doing some research that curly or wavy hair, if you brush it, it goes frizzy. It's always been a thing of mine. I've always let, like, tried to let my hair dry naturally and then it's been like wavy and then I brush it and then it just goes frizzy and I'm like I need to straighten it it needs to be straight so I have taken it upon myself to one let my hair dry naturally so that it goes for its natural curl or wave um, and then also not brush my hair and this is day four of not brushed hair and just sucky sucky this is day four of not brushed hair and just kind of brushing it through with my fingers um it was looking good it's now looking i don't know uh this side is looking weird because this is the side that i sleep on and it's just like <sighs> there's a lot going on under there um so excuse my hair it's a it's a journey and we will get there anyway um so excuse my piano cameo oh you're so cute Get your eye it's Thursday, it's the 25th of May, um, I finished the iris that I was doing as the live draw along session with my patrons, let me show you. So here is the finished piece, I am absolutely in love with it because flowers and particularly this 
iris kind. They're very nice but also difficult to draw and the accomplishment when you've got all of those like folds of the petals in and all of the dark areas and everything like that the accomplishment is immense it's like oh during the process i recorded a little bit of the process for you so you can see but during the process it looks like it's not going to come together and it looks a little bit of a mess and it's like oh will it won't it will it be a complete disaster or is it going to be okay turns out it it was okay and I really did enjoy this process. What I didn't particularly enjoy was voicing the process because that's just always with something that I don't draw often it's always like Ugh, what if I'm not doing it right there's a little bit of an imposter syndrome all the time when I'm drawing something that I don't usually draw. Even though I am competent clearly I must believe in myself more um, but yeah uh, I really do enjoy the outcome of this so I hope you do as well because I did enjoy drawing it um, I do really like the outcome flowers always turn out really nicely for some reason I don't know maybe flowers and birds should just should just be like my vocation but that's just the thing that I should do <laughs> um, so that's done uh, we're moving on to a bee and a flower it's on um, it's on a dahlia, this bee, and it's a reference photo that I took myself. So when I take references myself and I draw from them, I always get a little bit excited because I'm like recreating what I took, if that makes sense. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next. That is the next drawing up on the table. Um, it's half term next week though. Um, and I, like, the six weeks from the end of term to half term has just gone so quickly. Um... You're moving stuff on my desk, do you mind? How rude. Yeah, the time has just gone really quickly. Um, I don't feel like I've got an awful lot done. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> We're going to try and get a little bit of this B done, possibly today. It's already 10 o'clock and I have done some Etsy orders and I've walked them to the post box. I'm waiting in for the postman today because he's bringing me a couple of Waterstones books because I was naughty and ordered a couple of special editions. <laughs> um, so I do have to stay in and just not do anything but I am also in the process of making sourdough for the first time. I've spent ages making my sourdough starter so I will show you that as well because I want to. Um, but anyway, yeah. Let's um, let's get cracking with the day and I'll just show you whatever the hell I end up doing today because I don't have a plan and it's freaking me out a little bit. I have to excuse the noise of my washing machine <laughs> but my dough is on phase two of bulk rise. So I'm going to wait half an hour and then do a fold and stretch and then let it rise between three and 12 hours. It's a long time. I made the sourdough. I didn't get a thingy of it before I had cut it, but this is my loaf. It is a taste sensation. It's amazing, and this is the inside for those that are interested in the inside of the bread. The structure is actually really nice, and it's like not, it's cooked properly all the way through because usually, like, when you push the bread, if it's like sticking together, then it's not done but it's delicious i had some toast this morning bloody love it okay <laughs> it's friday um you just saw my bread oh my god it's delicious um 
but I can't wait to make more honestly it was such a process it took over 12 hours in the end but the taste the taste was well worth it so I'm really pleased I've just had another slice um, just plain because I just really want to appreciate the sourdough flavor <gasps> it's really good I recommend um, I recommend the bread doing it um, if if you want to make some bread I recommend doing sourdough because it's delicious and you know it's a like you don't have to knead it and it's it's really easy because you just leave it you just squish it together and just leave it and <sighs> just good uh, today I'm working on the bee and flower piece I have cut the paper and I've now done the um, colour chart thing this said I didn't realise that it was like a weird paper shape I don't usually do like long oh like this um so I'm going to start this today I have uh, recorded a podcast and uploaded it for patreon for the month of May um so that's some extra content and then I'm hoping to get like a little bit of this done today um so that I can edit it and then start the upload process for this one um I doubt I will get all of it finished today because I it's James's last day at school today for the end of term um, and there is a race for life at lunchtime um, where basically they're just trying to run as far and as much as possible as a collective group for uh, cancer research um, so as it's a fairly nice day I'm gonna take a blanket and I'm gonna take a picnic and go and watch him um, and that's at 120 so I have to organize the picnic and stuff before I go so I don't have a hell of a lot of drawing time today but um, the other thing that I plan to do is just edit a couple of videos so that I'm ahead of YouTube because at the moment I have two videos scheduled for YouTube that I edited at the beginning of May um, I need to edit together the bearded iris for a YouTube version which I'm going to do in a minute and then I need to edit this vlog as well so that there is two more pieces of content and I'm ahead because I like to be ahead it's better to be ahead than to be behind um, and then I will start recording on this so I'm hoping that I get like an hour to do on this I'm hoping that I get my editing done by uh, the latest 11 which is um, which is a task because it's currently 940 so I've got an hour and 20 minutes to record the voiceover for one of the videos and edit it together. Uh, I will say goodbye and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been a little bit of like a mishmash of doing lots of different things. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed it all the same. It's more of an artist diaries than a studio vlog, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in the next vlog, whenever that might be.